Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zachabane101, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. In the last episode, I said we were supposed to go to the Elder Hurl to Tell Ruins. It actually turns out, after doing a quick research online, because I wasn't entirely sure myself, we have to go to Inner Hurl to Tell Ruins. Whoops. And another thing I forgot to do was buy a scroll of instant warp. But since we're already so far out here, we're just going to head on over and uh, and see where this takes us, see where this leads us. It shouldn't be too bad on the trek back anyway, but it would have been smarter to actually purchase a quick instant warp spell. But at the end of the day, I'm just sad. But at least we can kill some crawlers along the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is kind of crazy, though, how powerful your stats are, considering the only difference between us now and when we were level one is, like, very slight stat boosts to our character, but they're strong enough to make us go from doing, like, barely any damage whatsoever to these crawlers to ludicrous damage. Like, our gear is not giving us any buffs other than to our defense, right? And later on in the game, you are going to get gear that practically doubles your stats, right? But this early on, uh, you're you're not really going to be getting that. I think around level 30 is when we can start getting some spark gear that actually gives us benefits to our MP and intelligence, which would be great. Now, I think for the most part, this runs like other Final Fantasy games. Intelligence usually is your black magic or your dark magic. And then uh, mind is your healing magic and enfeebling and things like that. Uh-oh, I have to make room for my inventory, uh oh Alright, let's drop the eye drops. I'm hoping that the, the eye drops are not actually worth a lot of money. I have a two-leaf mandagora bud, we got some honey. Any bird eggs? That would be nice. You know what, I'm willing to get rid of the smooth stone. I'm cool with that, and the bird feathers. I'll be more than happy to drop the beehive chip. Hold on to the crocker calculus. The crocker? The crawler. Calculus I. Calculi. And I'm gonna probably try and sell that dark crystal. Maybe it'll sell for something. Who knows? I would like to get some bird eggs, though. It would be very nice. Also, how are we doing on our weapon skill? Hey, we have fast blade now. Sweet. So, instead of using Wasp Sting, we will change this over to Fast Blade. Perfect. And just like before, we do Fast Blade in quotations, because it's two separate words under Weapon Skill. And... Of course, we have to redo our entire... Slash Party thing, so we go, uh... I'm quick... I like the wind. Fast blade. Exclamation mark. You gotta let him know. On the bear. Perfect. So now, whenever I use my fast blade, as long as I use that macro anyway, it'll give that little slash party notification. So I can tell my trusts exactly what I'm doing because I like to pretend they're real people. Wait, you do not... Hey, right, hold on here. You have uh, yet to receive a certain special bonus from objectives you have completed. Make room in your inventory to receive. But my items are fine. I have plenty of space. All right, hold on here. Let me go into my... Actually, I don't, I don't even know. can't say I'm quite sure what the hell it's talking about, because I already have it. So maybe we have to go into Records of Eminence? This is an interesting problem I've never run into, is having it already completed, but not being able to grab the, the loot. Yeah, right here. 
Defeat the requisite number of enemies. And e oh! Interesting. It says I'm unable to acquire stuff. So how much stuff is it trying to give me? I wonder. Guess we'll drop the bird feather. We'll drop another smooth stone. We are smooth brain, okay? We we don't need the smooth stone. Oh, but it's rare and, ex and exclusive. Isn't that... Isn't that the good one? Whatever. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's kill this rabbit. I hope it's not, like, too weak to be worthwhile. Nice. Let's see if we can figure out this problem. Alright, there we go. What do we get? What, what, what was the game trying to give me? Or maybe it's something else then? I don't know. Get to receive a special bonus item from objectives you have completed. God damn it. <laughs> why why you do this game? Because I can only look at current, and I guess I can't look at specifically completed there, because it's like a, most of these are repeated. Which makes me wonder what it is. Ah, there it is. All right, there we go. Receive a reward, yes. Aha! Copper A-Man voucher. Now, what is that all about? What is this A-Man voucher all about, friend? Given to adventurers who have proven themselves in records of eminence, this tawny and reflective ticket is indispensable for acquiring rewards from the Adventurer's Mutual Aid Network. All right, let me go Google what this is all about. Okay, and it sounds like we just have to hand it in to the, one of the people right next to the Records of Eminence Lady, if not the actual Records of Eminence Lady, so. It all seems pretty normal to me. As I lose my voice, all right. Kill the crawler. And then we'll make our booties all the way over to Inner Hirototo Ruins. It's a good thing I Googled that, otherwise we'd be walking around Outer Hirototo Ruins and I'd be like, wait a minute. What am I doing over here? Blah, 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 blah. Thank goodness for online guides, right? You know what? We don't even need to go into melee combat. Let's just murder him. We did it. On the bright side, at least we're getting a ton of, uh, earth crystals. I love how when you're far enough away from the bees that it just looks like they, <laughs> their wings are just glued. They have, like, four wings in total. It was, like, glued to their backs. Alright, at this point, we're just gonna ignore the crawlers. I know they seem really useful for making money right now, but... I wanna go do this national mission, man. For my country. Most important thing you can ever do. You see what I mean about how quickly you can get overleveled? We haven't even activated our EXP ring, by the way. Because there's just no reason to right now. We're level 11. This level right now can carry us all the way to, like, three zones ahead of where we are, right? Three or four zones. Uh, especially if we summon all our trusts. If we're on our own, maybe not, but... That's just kind of the beauty of it all. We gotta wave at people. Hello, human. Quite literally, a human. We're in uh, lizard gear. You gonna aggro me, bud? You can always tell just how tough an enemy is if it says it has high defense or not, because that means it was probably a decent challenge before you decided to click on it. And I think the... Well, shit. Who would have guessed? I'm probably gonna die fighting this thing. But I want to fight it really badly. I'm going to get Joaquim in here, our bard, so it makes it easier to hit him. Uh, and I guess we'll get Tenzin. Oh, I can't. Shit. What the hell is the freaking chances of this? Alright, bud. Oh god, okay, that's not a lot of damage. Actually, it is! We're doing it! Alright, the other crawler shouldn't matter. We're just gonna go all in on this. 
spam stone for days. Thankfully, we have the bard with us, so the bard really does make this possible because we don't have to worry about being such plebs with our weapon skill. We're pretty much going to hit every time. That's definitely an easy, notorious monster, though, thankfully. All right, and that's a spinny speepy. Oh, no, I forgot to select the... The quest! <laughs> oh, shit. Bro! I forgot to select the quest. Can I can I do it in uh, retrospect? Nope. <laughs> well, uh, that's a shame. Hey, oh, hey, don't rub it in my face, guy. Oh my god. What a damn shame. Also, did I get anything for that? So we got a spool of silk thread. Uh, I don't think we got anything remarkable, sadly. Yeah, nothing remarkable. Oh well. But the silk thread's kind of nice. We got another calculus. Does uh, do those stack? I don't know if they used to stack back in the day, but I think, yeah, they stack now. Sweet. Hey, what? Okay, now everything just wants to eat me. Listen, I may be a popoto. I may look delicious like a potato, but hey. Sometimes... It's not very nice attacking little Taro Taro, all right? Goddamn spiny speepies. Okay, uh, one thing I'm wondering though, how do I cancel a quest that I'm currently on? So we go to our current, oh, I think you just go to current and then we can select it. Well, I'm a dummy. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, if you see a notorious monster, chances are, there's the records of eminence for it. And uh, that records of eminence list is also nice to realize that there is notorious monsters in the zone. All right, what's up, Sama Gojima? The Minister of the Oristeri is in the laboratory beneath here. To get there, you should check the walls very carefully. Okay. Wait, uh, is this the book for inside? Let's cancel our current regime. And read about individual training. Let's see, what's the max out here? Okay, never mind. It's the same as before. Okay, let us back out. And away we go. Into the Hirototo ruins. And then we'll just resummon our nerd. Kapipi. Kapipi is going to be with us for this like entire playthrough. She is invaluable. I find. All right. So, is it the survival guide or the other one? Ground's tome. Ground is the one. Okay. So, we want to get some field support real quick. Not that it matters too much, but I want to get. Oh wow! I can go all the way to re-raise three. You know what? Never mind. I was gonna get refresh, but it's twenty tabs, and we're only chilling at sixty right now, so we're kind of hurting. Uh, but maybe later down the right, a lot down the line. What is circumspection? Ah, okay. Invisible and sneak. So if you need to get through an area that's relatively difficult, say you're doing like a ninja quest or even later in the missions, they actually send you through level 50 areas because of course they do because it's Square Enix. Um, like even at like mission two or something. Uh, you need invisible and sneak. It's where the game's trying to teach you that. Where you're like a level one pleb going through a level 20 billion person's world. That's pretty cool. And then homing instinct? What's this? Really? 50? 50 tabs to go back home. Well, we're hoofing it back home, it seems, folks. Uh, but we don't need to spend anything. We just want to do some individual training, please. This is the toughest you got. Oh, wait, this is probably like level... 81 to 84. You see what I'm saying? Like, they, they send you to areas that are ridiculous. Now, luckily, we don't have to worry about this this early on. But it's kind of funny to me. 22 to 26. There's Evil Weapon Family and Will of the Wisps. No, that doesn't sound right. Page 2. Blade Bats and Goblin Weavers, 1 to 7. All right. <laughs> Bring it on. Here we go. Uh, and I guess while we're here... We should pick up the mission. 
or quest rather, for the area. So let's go into our region. And uh, we'll just go down the list until we find it. Inner Hirototo Ruins, and there's also a subjugation of Maltha. So if we run across the Maltha, we gotta remember that. And let's get underway. Fortunately, already realizing everything is way below our level. That's what I get for fighting crawlers on the way over, but I just I wanted the money, man. I need the money that they can potentially give. And who knows, maybe the items that we put on the auction house might sell. That would be a pretty big benefit. So, we're looking for a hidden door. Thankfully, because we're awesome, we're able to see where the hidden door is. Because we're dirty, dirty hacksaws. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I guess I should have picked the goblin family for this, but, you know, whatever. We want ten kills, though. Ten murders. That's all we're looking for, really. You know what? We'll cast die on this guy. And then poison on this guy. And then we'll go to town. Wow, they do zero damage to me. Excellent. We're actually immortal. We are their gods now. Dude, even still, they're bigger than me. What the hell? It's not fair. Ooh, wild onions. I think we need those for a quest. On the bright side, because we're bringing a white mage with us, uh, she's able to give us protect for free, which is super nice. Hey, look at that, level 12 already. We're just zooming past this game. Oh man, but now everything's too weak to be worthwhile. Worthless! We open up the hidden door, that's super hidden, definitely. Ooh, here we go, blade bat. Ooh, it's easy prey! There we go! Give them the poison. At least, uh, when we're fighting more than one enemy, our evasion just spikes like crazy. And having a shield on us means we're now gonna start blocking with our shield. Uh, as long as you have a weapon on you, you'll start leveling parry. And really, uh, as, as you just keep leveling this stuff, you're gonna make yourself, uh, more durable to damage. Now, hilariously, whoever mapped this thing didn't set it up right, but, you know, it's fine. Hey, do you guys want to aggro me? I guess you might. The only downside with actually going into combat like that is um, when your weapon's out, it can sometimes take a while for the enemy to let you go because your, your character only puts his weapon away when the enemy dies. But when they're dying to magic, the game likes to delay it for a sec so you can see the full animation. And so depending on the length of the spell, it can take a while for the enemy to, uh, to go down and then you, you know, you're not able to put down your weapon until later. Which is kind of weird. Also, we're max selling items again. Damn it! What do we, what do we chuck? There we go. Get rid of the bat wings. Excellent. Might be able to sell some of that grass cloth. We got our fire crystals. Nice, nice, nice. Everyone else says the same thing, brother. Why, oh why, won't you listen to what I'm trying to tell you? At long last, we've achieved peace. Why risk destroying it? Behind your backy wacky, some people say that you're setting out to start a war. What's more, you know that this laboratory in the Herodoto ruins is off limits. Wataro, do they know? And you, Aparuru, my own Sistaru. Can, Taro, you see the truth behind all of this? Why do you think they all fear war, but won't lift a finger winger to do anything about it? They all say that Windus has peace and security. Peace and security! But do you really, really think our country has peace? 
The wounds the Oresteri received from the war haven't healed. Even after twenty-odd years, the best of the war warlock mages are dying off, unable to train new, younger replacement Tarus. Just imagine what would happen if, we, if war broke out again. Windest would be obliterated in an instant Taru. That's why, that's why we need some grand new magic. But that, but what about the star symbol? Yes, and what about her? What was the reason she forbade the very magic I seek? If they could have controlled that magic properly, then we wouldn't have had to buddy-buddy with the Beastmen in the first place. Sure, the Spellweaver died, but the magic itself was a great success. Only you, my dear brother, would call such a great tragedy a success. The mastermind of the Millennium met such a tragic fate, so that chance would a faker-waker genius like you stand, Ajito Marujito? Hmm. Say what are you like. A genius is never accepted by the world in his own time. If you've just come here to whinge and whine, then off with you. Go on, Gitaru. Well, I've tried my hardest to convince you. Now I don't care what happens to you anymore, brother. Don't come crying to me if you get yourself killed. Who's that over there? Ah, what's that, Taru, you say? A wannabe newbie adventurer, eh? So, you're the one they sent to help me with my experiment? Well, you're too latey-waity. The experiment is over. This gizmo just broke down again. And then my pesky little sister wandered on in just to add insult to injury. Ugh, well, I've had enough for one day. I'm headed home. Seeing as you've come all this way, I'd hate for you to go home empty-handed. So here's a little job for you. On your way here, you probably noticed the glowing receptacle gizmos here and there, didn't I, you? Well, inside each of them, there's a magical ball called a mana orb. I think one of those mana orbs is broken when my experiment failed just now. Your job is to find the broken sphere and take it back to the Oresteri. Oh, and one more thing. Don't go blabbing about what you just heard here. Alright, Taru? Interesting. So a great mage was killed. A huge tragedy, no doubt. And he's just like, yeah, but we can still use his magic, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's trying to retain it in these, like, Magitek-type things, I guess. Or, uh, I'm calling a Magitek. I don't know if it might be, but I can only Im imagine. It's a Square Enix game. Magitek, always a thing. These games always love to delve into the idea of taking the fantasy of, like, high fantasy and then mixing it with machines. And I can only imagine there's stuff like that going on here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so now we have to go check into each of these four corners, those little gizmos he was talking about. There's six in total, uh, one in each corner, and then there's one in each, like, middle section on the east and west, I believe. Uh, it's definitely possible there's eight, and I might just walk past one, but I don't know. Yeah, one of these is gonna have a broken, cracked item in there. Mana orb receptacle is not broken, alright. Already looking pretty good. If only we had sprint. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Even a mount wouldn't work here, unfortunately, if we had one. It tends to be the case when you're in a dungeon. All I want, man, is the broken orb. Although, knowing my luck, it's going to be the last one, isn't it? The best thing you can do, though, is go around in a circle. Sometimes there's, uh, the bombs. I don't think they're called Will of the Wisp in this earlier area. They're, they're just regular bombs. But they are dangerous. And I'm not sure if they absorb... Uh, their element in this game or not, but... 
There's a lot of things in this game that's very faithful to the entire franchise. Like, for example, if you're fighting an undead enemy and you heal them, they actually take damage. Stuff like that. Like, that's... Stuff like that is not even possible in, like, Final Fantasy XIV, right? So there's cool little nuances and things. Things that they just couldn't do in that type of game because they needed to change a lot of stuff around. So there's a lot of things you can really respect and love about their faithfulness to the to the series, which is nice. Is it for better or for, or for worse? Who knows, right? It really depends what type of game you prefer. I'm gonna go with that one's broken because they hit it from the camera. I was right. <laughs> they just straight hit it from the camera. Alright, let's head back out to Saruta Baruta. Thankfully, it's not too far of a walk. Uh, but yeah, thankfully having the map system just kind of makes your life a little bit easier. You can, I mean, you can go through the game without as much fear of being lost. The worst thing about the game was, for me anyway, getting lost all the time. I'm like, ah, oh, where am I? And then you just kind of stop playing because you're like, ah, I don't really feel like trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> and you're just lost forever. You go, or you go on the internet and you're like, where the fuck am I? You know? You find the name, like, you just go into shout, you're like, where am I? Someone's like, you're here, dummy. You have to ask someone to escort you out of the zone because you walked too far into it, and you're like, I don't know why I'm here. Look, it's that boozy guy just ran right past us. Super Koopa power. Yeah. Wait, does that mean if I were to go into heal mode, can I get those Super Koopa powers? Because it says this area has thrifty transit, artisan's advantage, and swift shoes, which makes me believe that if we heal up a little bit, we're going to get some buffs. So, basically when you're... Hey, there we go. I knew it! Oh my god! My brain is so big! All right, so there is a technically a sprint mechanic just because of the Super Koopa powers, which I think have something to do with uh, Conquest, potentially. Uh, but yeah. See, what I, the, the problem with the quest line in this game, though, is that you have to be very, very adamant about following it all the way through because uh, the game does not update the quest text at all. You have to, like, read everything. Were you... Oh, God damn it. Were you able to find the laboratory? There are many such hidden passages in Hirototo ruins. There sure are, actually. And they're all haunting. Can I pet? Can you slash pet? Damn it. Slash pet's not in this game. At least the uh, LFL. I mean, the Taro Taro are safe. That's the number one thing. <laughs> the most terrifying thing for a LFL in Final Fantasy XIV. Fearing the cats. Petting them. At every, at every corner. It's just never safe, bro. Never safe. I wish I had AoE. I think we might just go buy one AoE spell once we unlock it. I don't know if... I have a feeling that Red Mage doesn't get AoE Black Mage spells, though. I think only Black Mages get that shit. But Red Mages get cool stuff. Like, they can cast magic on their weapons. If you ever played, like, Final Fantasy IX... You remember that uh, cool ability where VV could cast fire on the warrior's sword and the warrior could do like bonus damage with his sword, uh, elemental damage specifically? That shit was awesome. That shit was super cool. And essentially it's the same thing with the red mage. Now I don't know if you can do that to other players' weapons, but I can only imagine that it must be a thing. Cause that is so cool. Because uh, they get things like spikes, they can cast, uh, I think Black Mage gets that too, though. But you can essentially cast uh, defensive spikes on yourself that defend you from monster attacks. So a monster will hit you, you'll take damage still, but they'll take damage back. So they're basically hitting themselves uh, while they're doing damage to you, which is always nice. Um, and then Red Mage also later gets an ability called Refresh. I don't know what level it is, but Refresh obviously refreshes your mana. Oh, I don't know how obvious that is, but regardless. Regen would be your HP, and Refresh would be your MP. And very valuable stuff, considering you don't generally recover your mana when you're standing up. Unless you have a Refresh on you. And there's, like, Refresh items in the game. 
as we saw with the tabs, you can just buy refresh for 20 tabs and they'll cast it on you for X amount of minutes, which is generally pretty valuable. Um, but it does cost a decent amount of tabs for us right now. As we get further into the game, we're going to get way more tabs than what we're getting right now. Like, we're just getting baby tabs, right? We're barely getting anything for our character as we do this stuff. That's kind of the important thing to note. It's like, everything here is super early on in the game. So, it may seem like a little bit here and there. Little tiny baby items. But we're still moving on up in the world. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching my playthrough of Final Fantasy XI so far. And I can't wait for you guys to check out the next one. Take it easy.